Hello everyone my name is Naveen Rai today we have Vanshika Nagpal with us she got offers from University of Cambridge and University of Chicago so we're going to hear from Vanshika that what were the important uh, factors that led her to her admission in uh, one of the most renowned universities around the world so welcome Vanshika and uh, can you please introduce yourself yeah sure hi everyone i am Vanshika and i live in delhi to be very prime of focused here and i am a third year final student doing ba sociology honors from delhi university and a fellow client of the hello study group for my masters admission ahead thank you so much uh, vanshika and uh, these are among the the top universities around the world so getting to these universities uh you know is is like very difficult a very challenging process so um there are a lot of factors that contribute towards somebody getting accepted in these universities so can you share your journey what things you did list of activities that you did which which helped you in in getting through uh, these universities and before that uh, would you like to say, share what program are you going to pursue um in in these what program did you apply for in these universities yeah sure so my area of uh, masters would be international relations so both the programs are revolving around that field only specifically um about applying to these universities uh, so just a short story here that when i uh, had the first chat uh with sir so it was like i want to just apply to ambitious universities because i'm very clear of being and he told me that listen it's not so easy to get into these you should have like a a mixed bag of all because if you're planning to go outside then you should have something i don't know i will apply in this only because i want to and i want to get in but uh, i'm sure like a lot goes um uh, into the behind the scenes of applying into these universities uh Firstly, I feel that uh, you should be confident enough in yourself that you can get through these. Um, that is, I think, the key to this. Second, I would say, be yourselves. Uh, I learned that lesson while I applied for my undergrads outside. I did clear a lot of reputed universities, uh, but then I eventually decided to stay back in India and do my undergrad because my parents wanted me to have a degree from India so that. Uh, you know like parental things again but when i applied for my masters i was very categorically clear that i wanted to be myself uh, and i think that is that was the key the third thing was that i made sure i did not do any frivolous things across the 3 years of my college life frivolous things as in um, internships that do not significant Yeah, you know, like do not significantly contribute to my CV, or are not matching to the area of my masters. So, like doing something in sales. So, say if I'm not going to pursue something in sales, then doing an internship of sales is completely frivolous for me. So, I made sure that I just do things which are valuable enough to write in a CV. Ah, uh, for example, being a part of an actus, being a part of global youth. doing my summer high school from columbia university while i was in high school so all these things i made sure that even if i uh, spend my uh, time on it they actually be beneficial for me and i just don't kind of uh, regret at the end of the third year that these all are frivolous things that's it very very uh, rightly said and most importantly is having the confidence uh, to take that leap of faith yeah. and something that you did um the list of universities that we uh, ultimately curated they were toward the ambitious side so obviously uh, that comes with uh, you know uh, lower chance of acceptance but then you have to take that leap of faith so good thing is that you are very clear that if i'm going to go through uh, you know for for my masters abroad then it is going to be um, either top tier universities or or uh, nothing so that was a very good clarity that you had now the most important in, in, and interesting bit is that you Uh, got through these universities without writing the GRE score. So objective parameters are important, but then uh, this also indicates that the overall profile is so important. Now, what is your take on that? So I'll be very honest in this. Uh, I know that I lack a little on the quantitative side. 
lack a little i would say that this is because of my personal interests but i know that if i sit some day to do my quant i will surely excel in that also but then i was actually lucky enough that this year covid was there and a lot of uh, universities had already waived of the gre requirements so i just smartly took benefit of that and i chose my courses very um, after a lot of research i pick pointed them that this in this university i want to go with this it was a lot of research work that i did at the back end that i was very clear with the stuff that i had to do very clearly laid out timelines and even if for gre i made sure that if i am not optionally giving my gre score to them but i give my quantitative background in such a way that they see that i do have quant with me also so that i made sure through various steps uh like for example i did a non degree program in economics so that was one of the steps second uh i very smartly curated my cv which reflected both the verbal side and the quant side on the first page itself so i sent them a lot of material but then that material was very smartly chosen by me that this is going for this this is going for this so i think for me i focused more on the game of curation if i was not giving my gre score rather than just giving them a whole lot of or uh, i may say a tsunami of data so i i curated that data for them and i presented that in front of them and uh, i made sure that i do also give them that tsunami of data that they want to see but i always gave that tsunami in within the additional sections or within the sections i knew there wasn't a lot of emphasis on so a lot the major sections had curated data specifically yes and and uh, all the more while it becomes very important when the number of applications were overwhelmingly high this year many universities have confirmed this so that makes the process even more tricky and challenging now under this backdrop it becomes very important that the essays that are uh, you know very integral part of the the application they are uh, responded uh, in in a very elaborate manner in a very pre- precise manner uh, capturing what exactly the universities are um, you know asking you to to uh, furnish now how important do you think that process is and how did did you prepare yourself um, in in the process of preparing the essay and and how did hello study global help you in in this process so uh to so my essay story would be quite funny as you would know that my essays were at least changed 20 times while they were being curated because generally uh, what we used to talk that every student used to get done with their essays in like fifth sixth year for fifth or sixth time but my essays were changed 20 times i remember and uh, it sometimes the changes i only did myself because i was very embarrassed that this is like the 22nd time i'm calling him to do a change in the same essay and then but i feel um, you guys were quite uh, <laughs> helpful with that for me because uh, being honest i just gave you very raw ideas of what i want in my essays and how it turned out was exemplary for me because i was very uh, keen on the fact that i did not want high vocabulary words in the essay i i only wanted vocab that i use in my daily life or the vocab that i am oriented to because uh, i feel that that i had certain interviews also after uh, i submitted my application and i knew that when i'm going to speak in those interviews they're going to surely know what kind of vocab i know so i made sure that the vocab matched with what i generally speak or what i'm generally oriented to uh second i was very keen on the fact that uh my whole my cv does not get reflected into my essays but my essay show show my point of view on things which is not there in the cv so one thing i learned while applying for my undergrad was this only that uh, never have your essays and cvs representing the same thing that give them two different uh, tangents so that they can know that you are just not replicating your cv into your essay essays are where they want to understand you so 
I think that was the best part that we had a word word that CV is not any way coming into our essay. And we were very widely open to that idea that let's not do it. So the team of writers for me too was hats off because I don't know uh, how, I mean, even after 20 times of changes, they were humble enough to give me a 21st changed draft. So that helped me a lot, I think. So I think so essays are really the game changer sometimes. They... But do not think that essay is something where you want to be exemplary like an ideal student. Sometimes being the non-ideal student also helps in essay. So I, I feel go with what you are, not just show them that you are that typical uh, University of Cambridge type student. No, sometimes they might not just want a typical ideal University of Cambridge student. Very valuable suggestions there. Uh, Vansika. So uh, what final piece of advice uh, would you like to give? You know, you've shared many advice uh, with respect to how the essay should be written. Overall, uh, to the students who are watching you, to the audience uh, who's watching you, what would you like to say? My final piece of advice would just be that do your own research before uh, stepping into the admissions frame. When you see you that have to apply to 15 universities with such rigorous applications, do your backend research of how you want to uh, curate them, how you want to approach them. Like for me, I did on the basis of deadlines, to be very honest. I'm a huge procrastinator, so I, I set my deadlines that if the form is deadlining on 15th of January, I made sure that it's done by... 13th of January at least so that I'm filling it out or if I have to fill for an early action deadline that completely depended but make a, make your list according to you make a small list with deadlines so that you don't miss on anything and also try and read your essays as many as times you will you can because every time you read you find another thing to change in it and change, do not send the same essay to every university. Please change the essay according to every university. As in not the whole essay, but maybe the start or the end of the essay. Just change that because you might know what plays them at that point of time. So that's it. Absolutely. So uh, thank you so much, Banshika. So guys, that was Banshika Nagpal who got through uh, University of Cambridge and University of Chicago. So wonderful piece of advice being shared by her. I hope uh, uh, you would be able to gather the motivation and uh, the confidence which is required to get through these, these top universities and wish you all the very best for your future endeavors. Vansika, thank you so much once again. Thank you.